Hi there, welcome to Expo Hub and we are into exercise number 14. Uh, let's imagine I am taking your interview. Okay, hope that happens. Let's say I am taking your interview and I am giving you one last question and telling you if this is the question if you could answer, you are selected. Okay, kind of a surprise. Sometimes they do, right, in the interview. Very simple question they'll ask you and they will let you know this is the question if you could answer, you are selected. So just imagine, this is an imagination, okay? So now, this is the question for you, I'm asking. This is the expression what I have written. New dictionary of string, comma, string from author A, book 1, book B, author C, book 3. So you can see author A has written book 1, author B has written book 2, author C has written book 3, author A has written book 4. So one author can write two books. So author A has written book 1 and book 4. Similar way, author C has written book 5 and book 3. So the expression what I have written for the dictionary, what is wrong in this expression? If you could answer this, you are selected. <laughs> so if this kind of statement is thrown at you, you have to answer. There is no other way. Okay, You have to answer it in the right way. So what is wrong is in this expression, you have to explain. Okay, So many of you who does know the answer, please do answer what is wrong so that i know how many people do know but nothing matters this is a this is a um, people who do not know we can learn because every person has to learn for the first time right so if it is your first time you have to learn uh, but anybody who knows it please do answer uh, don't just say yes i have completed mention what is wrong so that i know that you knew it okay and anyone who is very new to our channel please do subscribe for more such contents we are bringing contents which are really going to help you in your interview okay you are learning this ui path for a goal and we are going to help you to achieve that goal so with that let's get started and under understand what is wrong in this expression this is a funny question to be frank now uh, i have already written that and i am going to give you that expression um, in the description of the video where you can copy paste and try to experiment in in case you are you don't want to type it entirely okay so now you can see i have written it i have declared the dictionary string of string and i have written it there is nothing wrong i mean syntax wise if you see there is nothing wrong there is something wrong fundamentally so there is syntax wise there is nothing wrong but fundamentally it is wrong so let's have a look at the expression once again so the expression looks something like this okay new dictionary of string from author a book one author b has written book 2 so what is happening here i will i'll not tell you the answer <laughs> so let let us understand uh, the concept of uh, dictionary so dictionary means what the left side is called key right the left side value is called key and the right side value is called value so this one author becomes the key and the right side value is called value that is the fundam fundamental of dictionary and there is one more rule okay now i am letting you know the answer so the rule is the rule is the key should not be duplicate key cannot be duplicate in a dictionary okay that is the fundamental rule of a dictionary so while you are creating dictionary you can see author a has written two books author c has written book 3 and book 5 so if author can be duplicate because one author can write several books okay so those kind of a data which can become duplicate should not be part of your dictionary i mean should not be part of your key right the key should not be duplicate getting it the key cannot be or should not be not cannot be duplicate okay cannot be duplicate so this is the answer so let's understand okay let's experiment am i am i saying right or not let's let's experiment it okay so here i have already taken that dictionary i have created it and now what i'm going to do i want to print this so i will write write string dot join bracket I'll put double quotes and in the double quotes i'm going to write comma let's let's make it slightly bigger Okay, string comma, uh, I have put a comma and I am going to write, write the dictionary name. What is the dictionary name? 
books book authors okay book authors i am the author and i am forgetting the name <laughs> anyways uh, book author okay so i'll say book authors right okay fine so i have i have written this and then let me run it so if i run it there will be an error because i told you the key cannot be duplicate right that's what i wanted to prove you and it should throw an error okay so here you can see it saying an item with the same key has already been added so you have declared the dictionary but again the dictionary cannot be executed reason being your dictionary contains lot of duplicate values okay so that's why this is the fundamental if you could answer it okay you are selected all right so this is one of the question uh, which is going to help you so the dictionary cannot be written i mean any value which is going to be duplicate that value should not be put in the key okay so nice learning right very good so we are going to come up with more such contents more such exercises i mean why i am making this fundamental clear reason being once your fundamental is clear rest of the things will be easy okay rest of the things uh, put this logic that logic and build a big project is very easy but again your fundamental should be very very strong if this is not strong you cannot anyways build that how much you try there will be something wrong or you will be struggling for small small areas so that's why if you have this basic fundamental knowledge pretty strong in you build you know making a big project is a simple job because you know all the fundamentals making a big project is a simple job because these are the building blocks so if you have your building block strong obviously your building will be very very strong <laughs> right so that's why i'm bringing this simple examples and i'm pretty sure you are learning so please do say yes if you have completed it mark it yes so that i know how many people are completing these exercises thank you guys have a wonderful day and i am going to meet you in the next video again bye bye